check out the fancy drawbridge. Uh, typical. Subtle Tony. After you. I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. <sighs> Me neither. Looks like the controls are on the other side. You think you can find a way over there? I mean, I could break through those rocks, but the green guy isn't the best at talking things out. Good point. Part of being the Hulk. You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? <sighs> yeah, great idea. Eh, do it yourself. More rocks? No problem. You okay? Uh, I'm fine. I can see Golden Acres, uh, kinda. Great. So, can you jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing. You can make that jump. Uh, made it. <laughs> okay. Guess it needs power. Still waiting on that bridge, Kamala. Okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number four. Can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? Oh, here so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night. Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, at least it's quiet. Yeah. It was. I... <sighs> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check It was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. 
We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day, and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I'd change that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look at smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny Dancer? Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I got to get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. No, oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. Grandpa, I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. It's still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. Let's get airborne. Party crashers. Oh, hey, fellas. Okay, it's go. 
gotta be around here somewhere. Not how I expected to spend my evening. Good thing I don't have neighbors. I'm so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I know? Uh, I'll give you a seven out of ten. Good to see you, Georgie boy. Been working out? You know any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need treatment. Ah, people actually buy that crap? How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up with spiders. Nice move, kiddo. Yeah. Uh, Five years. 
showed up and forced my hand. Give me the girl, and you and Banner can do whatever you want. Forget it. Took the words right out of my mouth. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Oh oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar. Do I want to know what's going on here? Hey, Tony. Just lending my, um, technical knowledge to Bruce here. Well, I can see I have my work cut out for me. Not helping, Tony. Bill Sheldon reporting live from somewhere in... Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis. Time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question. Where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all. My affection. 
How exciting. Oh yeah, that looks perfectly up to safety standards. I think I found the problem. If I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aimbots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. Maybe I could cobble something together. I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Whoa. Hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. Uh, as a knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I... I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Man... No, 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 no. We all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe? Vegas shoulder pads? I mean, pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Bruce, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Sir, in case you were wondering, your old room is still intact. You're still working on this door, huh? Well, I just need to remove the entire junction box and reconnect the... Ah! Great job, buddy. See? Wasn't so hard. Home sweet home. All right, if we're gonna get anywhere, we'll need to establish an alternate power source. The Chimera was built for Terrigen, but I can convert it to run on something a little less explodey. I'm scanning the region for sources, but it'll take some time to identify potential initiator core heat signatures. Well, in the meantime, I need a new suit. Where can I find parts to repair the fabrication unit? I've located a good salvage spot and have sent the coordinates to the war table. When you're ready. War table, got it. Fix the fabrication unit, get a shiny new suit, then get this bird off the ground.
All right, first stop. No way I'm gonna be any help fixing up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Jarvis, what do you got for me? AIM is moving an experimental dropship, which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone, using the canyon for cover, I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, but I don't see an alternative at this point. I'll upload the dropship's last known location to your HUD. The canyon walls prevent me from fully confirming the intel. I suggest you work quickly. Well, I'm not exactly rocking a state-of-the-art suit, but it should get me there in one piece. Two, max. We need to move fast. Updating your HUD. AIM appears aware of our intrusion. How about we call this a surprise visit? Intrusion makes it sound like we're the bad guys. Noted, sir. Acquisition trip it is. I'm not sure how long the quarry will remain at its location. I hear you. We should hurry. How much firepower does AIM have down here? Rather a lot, it would seem. And how much was built with tech they stole from Stark Industries after A-Day? It's impossible to say at this stage. Possibly rather a lot. Karma is not my friend. It's interesting how many of AIM's systems look closely related to your design. George never was an original thinker. Makes them compatible, though, which is handy. The suit's doing great. Isn't calling it a suit problem? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Make the AI sassy, I said. It'll be fun, I said. goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at all this. Which nation state is AIM planning to go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your design. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up. Elevator goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at all this. Which nation state is AIM planning to go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your designs. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up.
Let's get the dropship and get gone, before AIM brings the big guns, literally. I quite agree, sir. It's safe to say Dr. Tarleton would relish the chance to dance on your grave. Thanks, Jarvis. Now I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. If I'm correct, the dropship should be just up ahead. Well, this place looks homey. Where the hell is my dropship? Scanning. The dropship was moved to a more secure location ahead. We can't get there before it takes off. We can if we overcharge the suit by 300% and take the direct route. Sir, you might literally explode, and that canyon is treacherous. Sure, but I feel the need for speed. Do it, Goose, and play something fast. after George burned Golden Acres to the ground. I'm not losing. The logs are making weird noises. Unsurprising. You just lost an acoustic dampening circuit. All systems are red. Y keep going, sir. Jarvis, this is my shot to make up for A-Day, help the kid, and, if I'm honest, stick it to Georgie Boy. You're damn right I'll keep going. Watch out! Their artillery is targeting you. Incoming! On it! The dropship shield is. Use all the juice left in the suit to get an EMP burst ready for me to trigger. Yes, sir. I've scanned the dropship and it contains the needed parts to repair the Chimera's fabrication machine. Excellent. Let's check in on the kids and head home. Bruce, Kamala, you read me? Loud and clear. Uh, Bruce is in the harm room pretending to be, uh... I don't even want to know. So, any luck out there? Success. We'll all be in new threads soon. The fabrication machine should be back online in no time. Great! Can't wait to make Bruce a new pair of yoga pants. Well, that was fun. Gotta say, it's nice to be back in the saddle. Yes, sir. You haven't missed a beat. Ah, glad to see that flattery upgrade kicked in. Now, let's take a peek at our loot. Ah, we hit the jackpot, buddy. This is exactly what I need to fix the fabrication machine. Glad to hear it. Especially as your current suit is now, how would you put it? Kaput. Hey, hey, did the job, right? I thought this tech looked familiar. These are all based on my designs. Some are near exact. They're sure taking advantage of the Stark tech acquisition. I was kind of hoping they'd just sit on the assets. Utah residents, did you feel an earthquake this morning?
All right. Now that is more like it. Don't I look amazing, Jarvis? Take my picture. Well done, sir. Finally feeling like my old self. Along with the fabrication machine, I've managed to route power to various other areas, including the inventory vault. I'm detecting some old equipment in your vault, sir. Should I incinerate it? What? No. That's not trash, Jarvis. It's my stuff. I'll go take a look. As you wish. See? Not trash. Indeed. I'm sure you'll use this to store many more treasures. Sir, representatives from our friends at S.H.I.E.L.D. are now aboard the Chimera. Agent Morales is in the command nest. She may be able to help with the parts needed for the ship. Great. Look forward to meeting her.